Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see how can ChatGPT explain the code that we will give to it. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which we talked about how ChatGPT can convert JavaScript code to Python code? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. So if you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. First of all, open ChatGPT and you should have some code so you can ask ChatGPT to explain it. You can grab the code from github so you have to search for github and i'm going to grab some code for chat projects so i'm going to search for chat from here i'm going to select this second one uh, you can actually search for any project of any category if you are finding the project in github so you have to go to the sources files and then you have to select any file which contains the code so I'm going to copy this. You can see that the code is about 1406 lines and ChatGPT don't allow you to copy this much code. So what you have to do is to just copy the chunk of the code. I'm going to copy from four line to end of the some function. So we can go for like this right here. So it's 4 to 178 line. Now what you have to do is to just write here what will the following code snippet do. And you have to just paste the code and press enter let's see what it gives us so guys here is the result of ChatGPT. so it talks about the libraries imported like base64 path and no return etc it says that the code snippet provided is a python script that defines a class called chatbot and contains various import statement function definitions and class methods here is a breakdown of what the code does so it actually break down the code into some points you can see that and in the conclusion it says overall the code sets up the chatbot class with login capabilities and methods for handling conversations authentication and other functionality related to the chatbot you can also ask ChatGPT to explain you the purpose of these libraries which you can see that base64 i also don't know what this will library do in this code so you can just ask ChatGPT to explain it to you and what is the purpose of this library in this project. It also talks about the some specific objects from modules such as this one and request and authenticate from a module called OpenAI auth. Okay, let's copy the another part of this code. So from right here, I'm going to copy about these lines of code from to 271 so what you have to do is to do the same what will the following code will do and just paste it and press enter let's see what it gives us so here's the result chatgpt generated it says that the code provided includes several methods of a chatbot class here is an explanation with of e of what each method does so it says the credentials the check credentials method is a private method that checks the login credentials provided in the configuration you can see that it is very complex and it's about 1400 lines and it is very time consuming for anyone to understand this type of code and the complexity of this code is very hard but ChatGPT can help you a lot in this way you can also extract the logics from this code and implement into your project if this is allowed by the author you can also ask ChatGPT to find the bugs in the existing projects in this way you can help this project to grow more or you can create a new issues so that you can so that you can improve the project and contribute it so if this is not enough for you to understand you can always ask ChatGPT to explain it more so what you have to do is just type what you have to do is to just type explain the above points briefly and press enter and let's see so here is the result of this prompt explain the above points briefly it didn't explain it briefly but if you are giving specific inst instructions to ChatGPT, so it will definitely help you to explain it more what else you can do is to just ask about these libraries which it told you before you can see that the libraries are here you can ask ChatGPT to explain these libraries what these libraries are doing in this code so i'm going to just copy it and what you have to do is to just paste it right here and ask ChatGPT what is the purpose of the above libraries in the uh, project and you have to just press enter let's see what it gives us so here is the result of ChatGPT. so it says that the imported modules and packages serve various purposes within the project here is a summary of their purposes so it explains about 11 libraries and you can see that it gives us a little bit explanation so that we can have an idea what is the function of these libraries you can see the difference between this response and that response which we had earlier it didn't explain any library but in this prompt explain all the libraries right here so you can have an idea like this and you can practice yourself by just 
copying the response from ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to explain it more. So it will definitely do it like it did right now. So this was all about today's video. In the next video, we will see how can ChatGPT act like a Git command generator. I will type Git commands and ChatGPT will act like a Git command generator. So if you like this video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the video. Thank you guys for watching.